In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best CPU tweaks that pros are using to get the maximum frames possible and the lowest delay possible. Honestly, if you watch till the end, you're guaranteed more frames. Let's get straight into it. Now, as for the first tweak, we're going to be making sure your CPU is actually utilizing you playing the games and not background services. To do this, it's super simple to do. Head over to the search bar, search control panel, click onto it. Then, of course, go onto system and security. I'll pull this up here for you guys. And then all you need to do is go onto system, just like so. This page is now going to pop up. Then go to advanced system settings now we're going to be on here quickly minimize this for you guys then go on to performance click on the settings we can ignore this for a second we can go on to advance adjust the best performance of programs make sure programs is here not background services obviously you do not want to prioritize the background services so make sure prioritize programs right here you can tick that press apply press ok your game may look a tiny bit different but that's fine that is the first tweak done though now secondly another windows service that everyone needs to disable right now literally go on to task manager by right click on to the bottom go on to task manager just like so then go on to startup make sure every single app right here is disabled make sure the only apps that is enabled is the ones that you will definitely use no matter what so for example me right here if i had microsoft teams enabled right when you load your pc up microsoft teams will open and as you guys know microsoft teams is so so heavy on your cpu and gpu meaning obviously you're going to get worse performance if it just auto enables and you're going to forget to close it i'm not going to lie so make sure every single thing here is disabled once you disable it by the way to make sure it's fully off you can head onto the search bar and literally search background background apps is going to pop up make sure your background apps and literally just like so let apps run in the background of course you do not want this make sure to turn it off honestly this puts so much strain off your cpu that you're going to get better performance just by doing these tweaks and remember we'll get more and more advanced as the video goes on and just before we get into the next part of this video by the way let me quickly tell you about keys fan honestly this is a lifesaver if you guys have that annoying watermark in the bottom right that says activate windows well this is how to actually do it and how everyone else has been doing it and don't worry i will leave a link in the description below so literally right here what it is windows 11 professional key this is how you actually activate windows and once you do activate windows by the way not only does it get rid of that annoying watermark right there you can finally change your background you can finally change your windows colors honestly it is super Super, super worth it and also it's not just for activating windows by the way if you want office so for example if you want word if you want excel this is also right here for you guys to buy again use gin 62 for 62 percent off office ones and guess what by the way you can get a coupon code of gin 50 for 50 percent off so literally all you have to do let's say with the windows 11 professional key you press on to buy you literally add it to cart just like so view the cart once you're here you enter the discount code of gin 50 literally as simple as that remember i will leave a link to this down in the description below remember to check it out and activate your windows today now once we've got rid of that annoying activate windows right here what we're going to be doing is making sure your cpu isn't constantly checking for freeing up storage within your pc of course it's good to free up storage but doing it this every single minute obviously is going to be causing strain on your cpu and you don't want that so get rid of this by the way go on to windows and r so run pops up what you want to do is search reg edit just like so click on ok now there's going to be loads of folders that pop up and of course super simple to do to literally just follow along with me and remember by the way if you can quickly leave a like quickly subscribe on this video honestly it'll mean so so much but now the first thing that we need to do bring the folder of hq local machine bring that one down software we can bring that one down just literally by pressing this down i know right here bring that one down microsoft we can bring that one down then scroll down until we see windows you can literally bring that one down just like so current version bring that one down again scroll down all the way until we see policies bring that one down then what we're going to be seeing is explorer click onto it just like so what we're going to be looking for is the no low disk space checks obviously it's literally thing. it's not going to be checking for low disk space every single minute obviously you guys know that's common sense is constantly searching for it meaning the strain on your cpu so what you want to do is double click onto it put the value data as one make sure as well it's hectadecimal and also if you guys are like oh Jinji, i don't have that folder what on earth do i do it's super simple to do literally right click onto it go onto new d word 32 bit literally it's going to be a new folder right there and what you want to name it no low disk space checks simple as that literally word for word right there make sure you enter it in the name right there super as simple as that make sure it is hexadecimal once you do that that is the end of this video i hope you did enjoy please do remember to leave a like and subscribe on this video honestly it means so so much to me